Hi, I'm Firefighter Brandon. I'm so happy to be joining you for Read Across America because I love reading. Reading and learning are important to my job. I have a very important job. My job is to help you and your family if you get hurt or have a fire. Today we'll be reading Firefighter Pete by James Dean. But first, let's get more into the spirit. We're going on a class trip today, says Principal Nancy. She leads the class to a bright yellow bus. Everyone climbs on board. I wonder where we're going, says Pete. They're going to visit the firehouse today. The bus parks next to the bright red firehouse. Pete and his classmates are very excited. The firehouse is huge, it's so big. It can hold two long red fire trucks and all the firefighting equipment. The firefighters show the kids around. They give everyone a turn to ring the old brass fire bell outside the firehouse. Then all the kids take turns sliding down the firefighting pole. Wee! Callie yells as she glides down. The firefighters allow the kids to try on the gear. Firefighters wear a lot of equipment. First, Pete puts on the heavy black overalls. Then he steps into his tall black boots. A firefighter helps Pete put on the heavy yellow jacket. Finally, they place a hard black helmet on Pete's head. All this gear is very heavy. Pete can barely move. The firefighters allow the kids to explore one of the fire trucks. Callie sits in the driver's seat as she presses a horn. It's so loud that all the kids can cover their ears. Then Pete turns on the sirens and the sirens blare. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. The lights flash red and yellow. Suddenly a loud bell in the firehouse. Uh-oh, it's a fire alarm. There's a fire in town. Gear up, Pete. The firefighters scramble into their gear very quickly. Pete puts on his gear too. They all climb aboard the fire truck and turn on the siren and lights. Firefighter Pete and the firefighters are on their way. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. The firefighting engine races through the town and the lights flash all around and around. A firefighter presses the horn. All the other cars move out of the way. There's the fire, it's hot and loud, but the firefighters know exactly what to do. They work together as a team to connect the fire truck to the fire hydrant. Then the firefighters allow and also attach a long, heavy hose to the fire truck. Firefighter Pete gives a signal and the firefighters turn on the water. The water gushes out very fast. Several firefighters must hold the hose to control it. Pete helps the hose as they spray the fire with water. The fire is starving to, starting to go out. There is smoke everywhere. Suddenly, Pete hears a yell from the roof. Oh no, it's Grumpy Toad. He needs to be rescued. The firefighters raise a long ladder from the truck. Crank, 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 crank. The ladder goes up and up and up. Firefighter Pete and another firefighter help Grumpy Toad climb down the ladder carefully. Yay! The fire is out and everyone is safe. The firefighters drive to the firehouse. As they take off all their gear, they pat Pete on the back and say, Good job, Pete. Firefighter Pete helps save the day.